I love your question. Thank you. <laughs> so We've gone through this much. Two pages of two questions. Pages. Very thorough. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, in, in what way has doing your first film, directing it, and being in the editing room informed you as a writer? Because I know that you've now written two more scripts, and I'm sure that you've you've learned something from from this first experience. That's that's yeah. Can you say? Can you tell me some of those things? Well, I man, I think having a first draft of mm -hmm. anything is great. Uh -huh. So that's where I kind of go for, like that's the, what I go for, I go for the first draft really quickly because I can't write an outline because I lose enthusiasm. I've tried to write an outline and I end up just writing the script. Uh -huh. um, what did the whole process of making a movie teach me about writing? I think that... How you t and how you tell a story. And, and how, how you tell a story. I think that um, I'm maybe a little less precious. Mm -hmm. You know, like my reverence has, has not gone, uh -huh. but I have maybe more of a keen ear for like what will just get cut. Okay. You know, when I'm reading any script, yeah, I'll be like, oh yeah, this will just get cut. And by precious, Sometimes. what do you mean? Like, well, it's like your darling little thing that you've made, yeah. so you're like so excited about it, like mm -hmm. a wee sculpture you made in school or something, you're like, this is mine, <laughs> like, isn't it brilliant? Uh -huh. And it, and it is brilliant, but it's also like, in the world, you know, it's like everybody can sing in the shower, but not everyone can sing Leonard Cohen at karaoke, <laughs> unless you practice. Mm. <laughs> um, or not everyone can sing, like, on stage in front of people, like, yeah. I cannot do that. So, it's like, <laughs> there's, this, there's like a, there's a thing where you just lose, you lose what, you can lose what you, like, my precious, like that thing. Yeah. You can lose that, but you don't have to lose the reverence. Mm -hmm. um, because literally when I saw the script printed out for the first time, uh -huh. and Good Dick was like, uh, and I'm, I think I've told you this, like, I'm sure you feel this way about the script of, of uh -huh. I Am I. Uh -huh. Once it's printed out and you're looking at it and you're holding it, yeah. you're like giving it to people, it's kind of like, what is that? Like mm -hmm. there's kind of this feeling of like, where did that come from? You know? Like yeah. there's something that you've been listening to mm -hmm. for a long time and you've been working on for a long time but it's not just yours like it came from somewhere else mm -hmm. sort of mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> there's there's a I follow you there's a real like <laughs> yeah. thing that you've been listening to yeah so you know and it's how people compose music it's how people act it's like you just listen so so the reverence for that doesn't have to go away mm -hmm. just because you get to have more of a a trimming going on with your with mm -hmm. your future work or your work that you're doing right now. Like I, I know that I'm. I'm not like I know so much more what. The spine of it is okay. of the stuff that I'm doing now. Like uh -huh. I sort of know. What's important versus what's extra? That's extra yeah. niceness that I put, okay. like, put there. That's okay. really good extra niceness. Yeah. Yes. But isn't necessary. Like, oh, they just, you know, you kill, you kill your babies. Yeah. You know, so when you're when you're working on something and you do it, you have to like chop away this piece of it that is really dear to you. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't necessarily service the story. And so I'm just, it's I'm capable of doing that with like no attachment now. Mm -hmm. Where when I was doing that in the cutting room with Good Dick, perhaps I was kind of like. Oh, I don't want to do this, yeah. but I'm doing it, yeah. you know? Like, now I just do it, and yeah. I move on to the next thing, and I'll do it again, and I'll do it the next day, mm -hmm. and it's fine. Um, so I think you you kind of have more of a sense of, like, who you are as a writer, and what it is you're saying, mm -hmm. and what it is you mean to say, and mm -hmm. how to do that the most effectively. I think mm -hmm. it gets easier as time goes on. Did you find <laughs> that you started to write more visually like I'm wondering if uh, wondering if like first time scripts not that yours was but I'm wondering about mine too if if the if it's dialogue that like we focus on so much in the first one for telling a story rather than the visual aspects or if we become more visually 
in command of the story, like for the mm. second story. I don't know if that's true or not. Um, mm. But I wonder if, like, by telling a story visually for the first time, you learn how to continue telling stories in an even more visual way. Well, I think I have. I think by directing that, by directing the script of Good Dick, I was able to infuse it with sort of images and stuff like mm -hmm. that, or take an image that was there and repeat it more, uh -huh. or repeat or repeat it um, in different ways. Okay. And I think repetition is really interesting visually, and I think a script can't give you that feeling as much as watching a film can, but I think, you know, I'm thinking about the feather in I Am I, oh, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. like it's so, it's like it's so useful that it's in there and it's so Im important and special um, in the way that anything can be, like you can give anything importance, which is uh -huh. so wonderful. Yeah, <laughs> totally. Like pain, it's true, it's anything. Like it's... a toenail. Yeah. But there and it is. There it is, and it's sudden. important. Yeah. And it's poetic, and mm -hmm. it is part of the story. Mm -hmm. um, so I think those things, yeah, I think definitely in the scripts that I have, those things are maybe clearer than the, the script for Good Dick was. Like, Good Dick was so raw and rough, and those things maybe, you know, the two scripts that I have now are maybe more sort of thought out or cinematic or something. But, like, mm -hmm. at the same time, I know they're going to do stuff they're going to dictate to me in ways that I can't anticipate right now because yeah. I'm not shooting them. Yeah. But when I do get to that point, yeah, I think having made good dick, it will be much easier mm -hmm. to just make the decisions that I have to make and it's not like I'm making them for the first time. Yeah. You know? It's like you're in the ring and you kind of know your bearings mm -hmm. a wee bit more. Mm -hmm. um, but visuals can be an entire film, like they can carry you through so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and don't, you know, repeating a shot or whatever, I just love all that. Uh -huh. Get so into that stuff. <laughs> um, but it's true that you can go, you can really go as far as you want with that because it's such a joy. Mm -hmm. I did all my questions. <laughs> did you? I did. Jocelyn, I'm so excited about I Am I.